In this video, we're going to be looking at how we solve for our solution set in an, an inequality, and we're going to then graph our answer on a number line. Here we have the inequality 8x minus 5 is less than 7x plus 11. Now, when trying to solve for the solution set in an inequality, it's, it's the same as we're going to manipulate the inequality inequality just as how we would manipulate an equation okay so for example I have a 7x over here so I'm going to take my x's to one side of the inequality and I'm going to take all the numbers to the other side of the inequality okay so here let's move our 7x first so it's positive on this side so when it comes over it will be negative so basically we're going to be subtracting 7x from both sides so here I have I have a 8x then I'm going to subtract my 7x minus 5 and that is less than 7x minus 7x plus 11 okay now here if you have noticed carefully what we have just did we cancelled out the 7x on the right hand side now I have a 8x minus a 7x so that will leave me with x or you could simply say 1x okay so I have an x there minus 5 minus 5 and that's less than I have a positive 11 because a positive 7x will cancel out with a negative so I have a 11 there now the same thing goes for here now guys I have a negative 5 here so I need to take all the numbers to the right hand side so I'm going to say now x minus 5 because this is a negative 5 I'm going to have to add 5 I'm just simply doing the opposite of the signs all right add 5 to both sides so let's add 5 to my left hand side and that's less than 11 and I'm going to have to do the same thing that I did there which is to add 5 again all right so we have a positive 5 cancels out with a negative 5 so therefore we have an x left here is less than 11 plus 5 uh, that will give us 16 so our solution set is that x is less than 16 so x will take all the values that are below 16 so as it relates to our solution set this would be our answer okay this is our answer now let's look at how we graph this piece of information on a number line okay guys so here we have our number line so at this point the first point I'm just going to start from negative 1 okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so obviously we would have a 16 somewhere there okay now what they're saying here now uh x is taking all the values that are less than 16 so 16 is the boundary so what i'm going to have to do i'm going to put a circle above 16 so i'm going to put a circle above 16 okay and if you notice this circle is an open circle all right let me just give you some pointers whenever you're using the less than sign let me change the color Whenever you're using the less than sign or the greater than sign, the less than sign or the greater than sign, you must use an open circle, okay? Uh, whenever you're using the less than or equal to sign or the greater than or equal to sign, we're going to use a closed circle. So this circle will be closed or it is shaded. All right. So since we're using a less than sign, we're going to be using an open circle and we're taking all the values that are less than 16 or simply all the values that are below 16. So then now I would have to draw my arrowhead going in that direction. All right. I'm just simply going to put an arrowhead to suggest that this line it goes straight down to negative infinity and this sign here that I'm drawing it's like an eight line on its side that's with a negative sign in front of it this suggests that this line goes on and on forever in a negative direction and it's pretty much that easy hope that this was useful however if you still have a question feel free to post and I'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye